Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Starbucks Confessional. This is the point where we confess things and get them off of our conscience and everything, and I'm doing that with Christian Tapper today because he really has a lot to confess. Yeah. <laughs> We're at Starbucks right now. You can see in the back of me they have a, a picture of some lady with coffee beans, and uh, the place is actually loaded with people. We're doing it here anyway. And if you've ever joined us on Starbucks Confessional before, you know that this is the place where we kind of get to know people. We get to hear their stories. And I'm excited to introduce you to Christian Tapper. Christian is from Sweden. Uh, Christian, you and I have been friends half of your life. Yes, it's half Since of my life. Since you were 14, which 14. means you're 28 yes, now. Yes, so it's exactly half of my life. Yes. And uh, uh, Christian is... Um, uh, he's really good in the area of relationships and the area of, of uh, kind of understanding what makes people tick as far as uh, uh, some of their emotional um, feelings for each other and those kinds of things. And, you know, I've asked Christian actually to do a podcast on our network. So I thought it'd be a great idea for you to get to know him before we actually start. So, as I said, Christian is from Sweden. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Say, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you don't say that. You don't say that. No, we don't okay. say that. But anyway. <laughs> so, Christian, you, uh, you're a drummer. Yes. And he's a good drummer. You graduated yes. from the Royal Academy of Music in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, very prestigious. That sounds really good, by the way, doesn't it? It does, but it's, yeah. it's just a name, you know. It's <laughs> It's just a name, but he's a very good drummer. Thank you. Uh, but he's also really got a heart for people. And Christian, you've been through um, some different relationships in your life that didn't exactly turn out the way you wanted them to turn out. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe like lack of relationships. Okay. <laughs> Probably is a better word. Yeah, I've, um, I'm 28 years old and I've been single uh, for 11 years now. Now, and you're not dead yet. I'm not dead, no. <laughs> I actually feel great. I feel really good, and I'm very happy with where I'm at. But, um, yeah, I definitely have a desire to get married one day and to have a family. That's always been a huge dream of mine. So, yeah, really looking forward to that, but I'm happy being single in the meantime. So, so you decided to do this podcast as kind of a, a journey, inviting people to follow you, basically, on this journey that you're on mm -hmm. to, uh, to find love. And in the meantime, you've gotten some kind of unique perspectives on relationships, haven't you? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, um, I've learned a lot of things here and there. It doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. Absolutely not, you know. But, um, yeah, it's been a, an interesting journey so far. It's been a fun one, and sometimes not so fun. And that's the part that I'd like to talk about next. Sure. What would you, you know, want to know? I've, uh, I've, I've spoken with you during some of those times when you have um, a real, well, we call it a crush. Yeah. On a girl that doesn't reciprocate, that doesn't love you back. Yeah. And uh, it's wiped you out a few times. Yeah, I think it's about probably three times now that that has happened. So um, for the last 11 years, um, I'm one of those people that don't have feelings very often for women. But when I do, it's very intense. So You're selective. Very selective. And it's not that I, I try to be. It's just the way I've always has That's been. Good. So, yeah. So, That's good. Yeah, so it's been, yeah, those have, has always been hard. I mean, it's always hard to be rejected. When you like someone and they don't like you back the same way, it's, it's always been hard. So I've had to work through those things. Now you've got all the girls out here going, oh, Christian, I'll take you. <laughs> you know, you're going to get a bunch of email probably saying, those other girls were thinking, but, you know, <laughs> what about me? Here's my picture. Do you think so? Um, you're hoping. No. No. no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Christian, you've gone through those times, but you really yeah. learn from them. And every time you go through a crisis, you learn from a crisis, don't you? Yeah, if you really take the crisis, whatever you want to call it, like it, it always brings up things that your heart is feeling, like the, the things that goes a little bit deeper than what you might be aware of. 
right. when you're just doing day-to-day -day life. Um, so I've definitely have learned a lot of things, and I've learned a lot about myself through those things. And I just learned how to walk through disappointment and uh, pain, all those things. And uh, yeah, and it's you know, in the end, it's been really good. It's been really, really good for me. So in Sweden, you're from uh, a fairly small town in a very cold part of Sweden, and. Um, You've grown up in a great family, yeah. great parents, family. you have a, a younger brother, mm -hmm. um, yeah. so all of that has been good. You've had um, some good examples, you've had some time to think through some things. Uh, all of that has helped you in your quest for finding a wife? Um, it has. You know, I've always um, looked up to my parents. You know, they've been together for more than 40 years now, and uh, I've always, they've always been a good example for me. To just uh, you know stick with each other through thick and thin. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get to this podcast. Yes. What can we expect when we tune in to Love Bound with Christian Tapper? Yeah. Yeah. So the podcast is called Love Bound, and uh, it's going to be we're going to talk about a lot of different things, everything from dating to you know some of the things we talked about today. How do you work through disappointment and pain? Um, you know, boundaries in relationships, you know, being single, friendships. I mean, there's so many things to talk about, and yeah. I'm very passionate about this topic, so I could just go on forever and talk about it for hours. And uh, so will this keep you from actually getting married, that you think, I can't get married yet, I've got to do this podcast? Yeah, I probably need to release at least a couple <laughs> of episodes before I get married. So. There you go. <laughs> Well, Christian, we're looking forward to this, very much forward yeah. to this. Me too. And folks, uh, the podcast will be out in just a few days, the first one. Catch it on the uh, Sanctuary International Matrix YouTube channel. It'll be there, and every time uh, Christian does a new one, if you're subscribed to the channel, it'll pop up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, shame on you. <laughs> Go there right now and subscribe. <laughs> But uh, we want you to make sure and that you're able to hear everything that Christian has to offer. Sure. Christian, God bless you. This is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks and, so much. And maybe I'll learn something and I can, you know, use it in my own life and finally get married, you know, after 61 years. Yeah, you just might, you know. It's never too late. See, all my life I've been waiting for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. God bless you, Christian. We're excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.